Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Look at that crappie, man. That's a nice crappie. <laughs> nice largemouth. Very nice largemouth. Nice largemouth bass. Nice largemouth bass. All right, good deal. All right, I'm gonna reach this beautiful muskie. 35 inch muskie. Catch and release. Out there. Fishing fanatics, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. And yes, I'm out of breath because I'm walking far and I'm walking fast. I got two hours of daylight left. I'm currently burning in daylight while I'm talking to you on this video camera. But I'm going to walk about half a mile to three quarter miles back hop in this lake hopefully pull out a bunch of big nice largemouth bass and get it on video I'm out of local lake one of my favorite places to go I'm going to start throwing three eight ounce chart shoe spinner bait with two gold crinkle coated Colorado blades and as always I'm throwing a seven and a half foot wild green carrot stick with a loose speed spool 7 5 to 1 gear ratio. Alright, I'm just about at the spot where I want to start seeing the water. Alright, here we go. Ooh, the water looks nice and clear today. Oh, wow, a whole bunch of bluegills. Almost tripped over that log. Oh, yeah, the water's nice and clear. Yeah, baby. Holy pads are coming up. Might have to switch over to a weedless lure. We'll start the spinnerbait, see what happens. Fisherman over there, over there. There's one, two. We see two so far. All right, first cast of the day. See what happens. Oh, I love when this water's this clear, man. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm hot over here from walking so fast. Yeah, now we're talking. Get out there where those biggins are. I just spooked a carp. It's almost too clear for a spinner bait. You know what? I know this works, but we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna switch lures. Oh, I just almost dropped my rod and reel in the water. We're gonna switch this up. We're gonna try a yum dinger, but we're gonna try it with silver fleet. See how this works. I think this might resemble the long skinny minnow. I have two hits on that crayfish, but both of them short struck it. So, let's try something else. Alright, there we go. Yum dinger, four inch. This one's all silver. Let's see if they hit this one. Yeah, it looks like a minnow. Let's see how this one lure works. Yeah. 
special one. There we go, finally. All right. Feels like a good one, too. Took a while. There we go, a nice 14 inch large on bass. Call one that silver Sanko. Check it out. 14 inch largemouth bass. Back here in a public lake, not too far from where I live. Doing some wade fishing. Look what I caught him on. Four inch silver Sanko. It's a yum dinger. Use a four out Gamagatsu weighted hook with a sea spring. 12 inch, I'm um, sorry, uh, 12 pound test monofilament. I'm using a 7.5 foot wild green carrot stick and a loose speed spool 75 to 1 gear ratio. Nice 14 inch largemouth bass. Alright, catch and release. Alright, there we go, catch and release. Alright, let's see if we can repeat that. There we go, there we go. Fish is hitting it. Fish one. Fish number two, baby. There we go. Now we found the honey hole. I knew it was over here somewhere. It feels like a decent one, too. It was way out there. Sea pig, baby. Sea pig. I like getting wrapped in a lily pad. Always give me a good fight. I found them what they're feeding on. There we go. Fish number two, baby. Yeah. Now we're talking. That one, too. Alright, that one's 13 inches, and it's short, shorter than the other one. Let's go live again. There we go. I got fish number two already. Two more casts. I got a 13 inch large about It's just an inch shorter than the other one. But look, I caught him on the same lure. Four inch silver Sanko. Four I come got the way to hook with the sea spring. Fish number two. I finally found them. I found what they're feeding on. Alright. Alright, 13 inch large bass. Catch and release. One. There we go, finally. So I keep this one pegged. I don't know if I got enough battery left in that camera. Number three, baby. Should be number four, but it's number three. So many measures. A 13 incher. He's 12 and a half, I think. I can't tell. Yeah, he's 12 and a half. There it is, fish number three. He's 12 and a half inches long. Look, man. He inhaled that lure. Four inch silver Sanko. 
I just had one come off right before him. It was a nice one and wrapped around the lily pads and broke off. It's probably a lot bigger. It is what it is. But there we go. That is fish number three. Is that you or fish jumping? Is that you or fish jumping? Got one on. Oh. <laughs> Front of me, baby. Oh yeah, I fish it right in front of me, man. Definitely in front of me. It feels like a good one too. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that one. Take them all day long. There's another one. Fish number four landed. Should have been number five, but I'll take four. Sure means getting skunked. Let's see what he made. Out of my hand. Well, you weren't done. I guess you weren't done fighting. Let's see what this one measures. I guess you weren't done fighting, were you? He's almost 14. 13 and a half. There we go, man. Fish number four. Should have been number five. I lost one, but I'm not complaining, man. Shrubby's getting skunked. That's fish number four. I'll catch them all on a four inch silver Sanko. Look at it, watch this, this fish inhaled it. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, I'm loving this Sanko, man. I always, always used to love the black one, now I'm starting to like the silver one. This thing is producing, I'm getting a lot of hits on it too, and that silver one short strike it. But, definitely a good day of fishing, man. That's four fish landed. This one's 13 and a half inches long. Beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass. Look at that. These fish are so healthy in this lake. I love fishing this lake. It's a great bass fishery. Good healthy fish, good healthy lake. All right, catch and release. All right, fish number four, 13 half inches, catch and release. Hitting it. Fish is hitting it. Fish one, boy, he's way out there too. Boy, that fish was way out there. I don't know if we'll get him in. I feel like a good one too. Unless it's just because he's that far out. Boy, he's shaking his head like crazy. Come on, stay big, baby. Oh, he wrapped me up. Oh, crap. There he goes. He had me wrapped. Oh, that's a decent one. Check that out. Fish number five landed. 16 inch large mouth bass. That is number five today. It's been a good day of fishing. Got about a half hour, 45 minutes of daylight left, so I'm hoping to get more. But caught all five of them on a four inch yum dinger. A silver Sanko. Check this out. They are eating. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> they are eating big time. All right, I'm gonna catch Lisa's fish back in the water. An inch large mouth bass. Catch and release. Alright. Okay, for whatever reason, um, I lost audio here in, in this clip and a few coming up. I don't know what happened. It, no idea, but all of a sudden just the audio went out. Um, there'll be more audio coming up. Um, but periodically throughout the rest of this video there'll be spots where there'll be audio and spots where it's not so where there's no audio I'm gonna do a voiceover 
I don't know what happened to the camera. I don't know if it just went defective. It was the card or what happened. But anyways, I have a fish on here. Um, it's going to end up being a nice 14-inch largemouth bass. Um, this will be uh, fish number six coming up. Um, great day of fishing on the lake. I can just catch them all in a silver sanko. So here we go. Here's fish number six being landed right now. And I'm going to measure them and go over to a live video. So here we go. Fish number six. This fish is 14 inches long. Nice largemouth bass. Man, it's been a incredible night of fishing already. I've only been here about two, two and a half hours max. But two hours, I landed six largemouth bass. I lost two. Had a whole bunch of hits. I'm catching them all on a silver sanko, man. Four inch silver sanko. Four out gamagatsu with a hook with a sea spring. I'm using a green, wild green carrot stick, seven and a half foot long. 12 pound test, suffix monofilament, and I'm using a loose speed spool, 7 5 to 1 gear ratio. Been an awesome night of fishing, man. They're coming up, they're getting ready to spawn, they're in pre spawn mode, they're feeding like crazy. It's absolutely awesome. I am loving it. Great day of fishing. <laughs> Hope we catch some more tonight before that sun sets. Got about a half hour of daylight left, I think. Okay, once again, I got to do a voiceover. I'm getting a hit right here, and you're about to see the rod go way up. Boom, fish on. Um, it's fantastic. Um, so, unfortunately, I lost audio again. I don't know what happened with the camera. It is what it is. Um, I used the camera again after that, and the audio was fine. So, I don't know. It must have been a glitch in it that day for some reason. Um, so, which is rather interesting. So, I'm about to land this fish. going to grab him, and this is fish number seven. So that's seven fish caught on that silver Sanko. All of them caught on all the same lure, all the same setup, same rig. Um, it's only got to get them to, to get a hook ratio on us. Um, so this fish is going to measure um, 12 inches long. There we go. I believe that's fish number seven. I think I'm starting to lose count. Fish has been so good today. I was out in the school river yesterday, got completely skunked. This makes up for yesterday. That is fish number seven lands, a 12 inch large round bass. Catch them all on a four inch silver Sanko. All right, catch and release. What an awesome day of fishing, man. Absolutely awesome. This is just icing on the cake. Okay, here I am releasing fish number seven, 12 inch large round bass, catch and release. All right, I'm getting another hit. Rod's about to go up. Here we go, I'm gonna set the hook. He's hitting it, he's pulling, bam, fish on baby. All right, it's gonna be fish number eight. He's way out there, if you take notice, there's a, these fish are out there far, there's a creek channel out there, if you know where to find it. You gotta go in water about waist, between waist deep and chest deep, and then you gotta cast way out there. I'm using a seven and a half foot rod to cast way out, but most of these fish are way out there in that creek channel. You gotta know where it is and how to hit it. And that's where they're just stacked up there. Um, so here we go, um, this is fish number eight, and it's gonna measure 12 inches long. Beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass. Everyone's been over 12 inches. There we go, man. Fish number eight. Uh oh, I only got 50% battery left. <laughs> right. This is fish number eight, 12 inch largemouth bass, again on the four inch silver sanko, and it's starting to rain. I don't know if you can see the background, but it's raining out. This fishing is just incredible tonight. That's eight landed. I lost one, I had a bunch of hits. <laughs> what an awesome night of fishing, man. I'm hoping to catch some more and I probably won't be able to post them on here because I got 50% battery life from making all these videos. But there we go. Fish number eight, 12 inch large round bass, catch and release. Okay, I'm releasing this beautiful 12 inch healthy largemouth bass. These fish are so healthy in this lake. Great fishery, catch and release. Okay, I'm getting a hit here. You're about to see this rod go up. Bam! Fish on. All right, man. These, these fish just give such an awesome fight. They're so healthy in this lake, and they give an awesome fight. They're so much fun to catch. It's a beautiful fishery. Very good, clean water, healthy bass. Um, this is going to be the last one I catch tonight. I'm running out of daylight. I don't believe me because I ran out of daylight. This is fish number nine. Just landed. Beautiful, beautiful 13-inch largemouth bass. Um, what a great way to end the day. Um, just like I said, this, this fishery is so clean and so healthy you want to, it's it's the city's drinking water um, so you can't put any type of watercraft in this lake it's way to shore fishing only and like I said you got to go in there and go about between waist and chest you get away out there and here I am having trouble getting a hook out I'm using Gamagatsu weighted hooks and I love these hooks 
they're laser sharp. I mean, you, you get a good hook set, and those hooks don't come out. I have to use the pliers on this one. I only had one come off, and I think maybe because it was a hook rider, I had the tail in the mouth, but I landed every one except for one. Hey, all right, so if you saw those videos, I actually landed a ninth fish. I caught nine fish total, but my bat my phone was down to 11% battery. It just wouldn't record. It wouldn't go live. I actually have a plug-in right now. Charger is at 27%. Um, but I landed nine largemouth bass today in about two and a half, three hour span. Um, I should have had ten. I had one got off. I'm halfway into me, wrapped me around a lily pad, and uh, he pulled, I pulled, and probably pulled the hook right out. We got right there on those lily pads with guards. Real good. It's hard to get them off. But I want to show you what I'm using. So this is my favorite lure. I was using a Yum Dinger four inch black Sanko. And this is what it looks like right here. Now, if you take notice, I'll try to get close to camera it's a little dent in there you can set the hook in there you can make it completely weedless 99% weedless this this is my favorite lure I, I use this more than any other lure I caught more and bigger fish in this lure than any other lure I ever used but I watched a YouTube video and I was watching some guy using this one it's a silver shiny version of it and I thought you know what I'll give it a try so I bought it man it was incredible it was a slain the fish tonight I had so many hits too, man. It was probably small ones, baby ones, bluegills hitting it, but I had so many hits on it. I landed nine fish, had one get off. Um, I think, and I could be wrong, I think it, this probably resembles like a little gizzard shad, and I think that's why they were hitting it so hard. They're in pre spawn mode. They're coming up in the shadow. The water was really warm. The air temperature was 77 degrees a night, and they're getting ready to spawn, so they're going to feed in frenzy right now. So the next two weeks, the fish is going to be incredible, and then they're going to completely shut down and going to be on beds. They ain't going to eat nothing. Um, but absolutely incredible. Um, absolutely loved it. It was so worth it going out there tonight and catching all those fish. A lot of fun. Um, definitely could be a real good memory for me to remember a long time from now. But I'm rambling on. I didn't eat dinner. I haven't eaten lunch, eaten anything since 12 noon today. So I'm going to go make some cheeseburgers on the grill. And if you're watching this video, I will gladly pay you next Tuesday for a cheeseburger today. <laughs> At any rate, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching those videos. Trying to bring you guys good content, some good stuff, fun action, something to watch, some entertainment. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. I have fun fishing. I have fun making these videos, something to do. I'm rambling way too much. <laughs> I had an awesome day, man. Absolutely incredible. I'll see you sometime soon, and thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube videos on York, Arc, Fishing, uh, Arc Fishing on YouTube. Check out my websites. I got my ups, uh, websites back up and running arc-fishing.com and leechdigitalphoto.com so check them out i got them back up and running all right i will see you sometime soon in another video thanks a lot be safe and god bless